Hey, it's Rob. And uh, rather than posting anything about the, the whole city of Minneapolis situation, which other people are doing much better than I can, uh, I decided to kind of get back and try and do some more normal things. So uh, I'm going to be working on uh, transplanting some pepper sprouts that I uh, sprouted from seed. Uh, I know I did it a little bit late in the year, but uh, you know, transplant them and see how they grow, if they grow, you know, it's the worst that can happen is that they die off and I'm no worse off than I was. Uh, but I had pretty good luck with the sprouts, so I'll try it this year and uh, if I get good luck on them this year, maybe I'll try it and start earlier next year so I have uh, a lot more pepper plants that I don't have to buy. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, Isis is here. She's uh, me and my, my buddy. She's being with. She probably wants to play with the hose because, you know, we're by the, by the hose place. So, all right, talk to you guys later. So these are the uh, seedlings I planted earlier this year, and it looks like they are about ready to uh, transplant into the smaller pots. I've already got some that I've started here, and they seem to be doing okay. So I think it's time we're going to start doing the rest of these. I mean, you can see some of these are starting to get actually get really good. Pretty sure these are the habaneros and these are the Carolina Reapers. You can kind of tell the difference. The habaneros are hardier. The reapers are a little less so. Alright, first thing I want to do is make sure to label these so that I know which ones are which.
Well, this is the end result. And of course, the pepper garden itself is still doing pretty good. You might have to go in and get some of the grass and stuff out of here. <clears throat> but overall, looks to be doing pretty well. And the ones that I replanted seem to be seem to have taken. So we've got a full garden yet. Alright, well, we'll see how it goes.